what it do you to slash patreon slash bit shoot today's video i want to chime in with a quick 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 impromptu video in today's video i want to talk about how to transmute negative energy into positive energy Yes, how to transmute negative energy into positive energy. So, negative energy is still like energy, right? But it's, it's negative and overall positive people don't want to be around negative energy. But you have a lot of people who thrive off of negativity and negative energy. They thrive off negative energy. Those are psychic vampires. And they are psychic vampires because they drain your life force. They they suck your life force. Like a mosquito. A mosquito, it drinks your blood, right? So your blood is your life force. It's, it's, it's sucking out your life force. And a vampire is the equivalent of that because vampires are known to... Um, to bite people's neck and drink their blood and your blood is your physical life force that keeps your body going right so the thing with that is that's why it's a physical vampire and shit because they suck in your life force instead of it actually being your blood it's your energy your energy that comes from your chakras because your chakras are an energy processing machine that's naturally in the body that processes different energies. That's how I look at the chakra system as an energy processor. So, so with that, right? Negative energy is still an energy, so you can still you can still play with it. You can still send it around and stuff like that. But the thing is, you don't want to send negative energy around, especially if you're an overall positive person, because who really wants to be around negative energy unless you're a negative, low vibrating person? You know what I mean? At this time, even before this time, you know, it's still a lot of negative, low vibrating people. I've even been a negative, low vibrating person myself. But I had to wake up and come out of that dark state. You know what I mean? Like I say, um, we all got different aspects of, our, of ourselves. Some people try to show their best side and keep it at that. They don't want to show you when they're down. They don't want to show you when they out, they don't want to show you this. They just want to show you all the positive stuff. And it's nothing wrong with that. That's, that. that's good, too. You know, keep it positive. But if you really want to be honest and shit like that, you would just, you know what I mean, just be all around, you know, show your emotions and shit. I mean, you don't really have to, but that's another way to kind of get that energy flowing. So when it comes to negative energy, right, you can transmute that. And you can manifest something positive with that energy. That's what I do. A lot of people want to want to know how can I manifest? How do you do the things you do? How do you do the things you have done? And it's really just energy tapping into different frequencies and and pretty much just studying and, and learning yourself. That's another big thing, like meditation. You know what I'm saying? Um, pine needle tea. Iris sea moss, sea moss, those are good things. You know what I mean? Pine needle tea, in my personal opinion, is the best from my own experience. Sun gazing, earthing, you know, just stuff like that. You know, um, those help. But um, eating healthy, or at least a balanced diet. If you're eating all processed foods, all processed foods, all processed foods, your motherfucking energy is most definitely is not working in a positive way. Your shit locked down. Your sales is locked down within sales. But um, ain't nothing wrong with like well, there's something wrong with processed food. Ain't nothing wrong with having it every now and then. You know, balancing your shit out. But if you eat it every day, all day and shit, come on, man, that's no balance. And that's the same thing with healthy food. If you eat that shit all day, every day, yeah, you you're going to be healthy and shit, but it's like you got to have balance. Sometimes you got to give your body what it's craving, you know what I mean? It's just just balance. So 
So basically, if people send you negative energy, you can transmute that, take their energy, process it through your chakra system, and manifest something positive. Or if you stuck in a negative environment and your environment is negative, you know, we are products of our environment. So if you're in a negative environment, eventually you're going to become negative. That's just basic science, you know, adaptation, you know, adapting to different things. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it, it's deeper than that too, you know, but, um, if you are a negative person or you have a negative way of thinking, which we all do at points in times, you know, um, is ways that you can reverse that negative energy and, and manifest something positive. And I have to explain this so you can know. So once I actually dive into the topic, it ain't gonna confuse you. That's why I'm explaining this, of course. So basically, if somebody's sending you negative energy, right? Instead of feeding off the energy, see, it's different from feeding off the of energy and transmuting energy. See, people don't tell you that these little Reiki healers and all that stuff these false Reiki healers, because I'm actually a real Reiki healer and stuff, and I'm still doing a lot of research on that, but it's, it's about bloodline, though. You know, it's like an inheritance from my ancient ancestors. A lot of us have gifts and looks and genetics that are what we get from our ancient ancestors, but a lot of people not into, into going into the history of the ancestors and all that stuff. A lot of people just focus on it now, and you know, Everybody got their own preference, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool. But um, it's a difference between transmuting and feeding off. So if somebody's giving you negative energy or you're in a negative environment, and you feed off of that, that means you're putting back negative energy. So if a motherfucker do something to you petty, you're going to do something petty back. That's feeding off that energy. That's the quickest way to have a downfall. Trust me, I know this. But the thing is, if you want to transmute that energy, if somebody is sending you negative energy, you're going to feel it, of course. You feel it, and you say, you know what? I'm not even going to respond. I'm not going to react. I'm going to be the bigger person. And what that energy does is it starts to go through your chakras, through your body, and it starts to change to something positive. And what will happen is it will automatically start to distribute itself in small quantities of different things in your life that you are proud of. So let's say, for example, you know that saying, um, how they say you gotta, you gotta count your blessings and shit, right? That's a deep saying. So once you count your blessings and you actually appreciative of what you do have and you start to transmute negative energy, that negative energy will start to trans, not, it will start to transmute it start to distribute itself into different categories of your life that you already excel in. You see what I'm saying? So, if you're naturally a happy person and shit, somebody giving you negative energy, you not feed into it and you transmute it. That positive energy, that negative energy is going to turn positive and it's going to increase your light, increase your aura in certain aspects of your life. That's basically what I'm saying. That's how you transmute energy, and it's just that simple.